Hello everyone, we are back into the chaos. We are here because we have shipwrecked. We have secrets to find. <laughs> and the creator even tweeted me back and saying I needed to click on something. Oh no! Someone else also commented. <laughs> now I'm here because I have to do stuff. Okay, I just didn't want to keep <laughs> rhyming with that. All right. Hello, everyone. Let me get back into the thingy here. Hello, everyone. We are back. I just realized I don't remember your voice. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see if that's going to happen. Anyway, so we're going to just continue back. Apparently, I just missed something. So we are actually just boom, 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 boom. Hello, I am a beaver. I forgot your name. So we're just going in there. I forgot the controls. <laughs> Shit. Uh-oh. I think they all went to bed. I think they're... How? Oh, my God. His voice. <laughs> this is what happens when you fuck things up. Jumping. Oh gosh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Bucky Beaver. Okay, you're Beaver. 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 I'm Bucky. Okay, you're that now. That is your voice. So that's what it is. I think they all went to bed. Right. So we do. I think I should sleep. Now you're giving me context? Let's go to the hole under the beach stairs. I am here. Why didn't you say this beforehand, Beaver? Bruh. You were fine. Also, so, apparently the whole otter thing is was meant to be. Welp, day one. That's his thing. Welp, day one. It's been nice having you around. What? Dimension break? Let's get some more friends tomorrow. Good night, buddy. I just realized it's gonna go right into the horror-esque. Day two! Okay. <laughs> Great. What was that in my ear? It's like warped sounds. 1 p.m. Oh, great. Oh, wait. Wait, so... I guess... Oh, my goodness. I forgot. Is it shift? Shift that? I don't remember. Zooming. That's okay. Ooh, okay. All right, so I know where Otter is because I've looked at the tutorials to make sure I was fine. Hello, Wolf. Who are, how are you? Nice of you to just crash land like that. We're all trying to live our lives. If you want to keep yours, then leave. Okay. Sassy did not ask you do you wouldn't want to stay here too long great cuz it's good I was just gonna get my friend here otter. Where have you been? Oh the otter Hi buggy. Thank goodness. You're okay Listen, I'm in a tight situation here We were sent to gather coconuts for wolves to pay off our debts for the crash I'm not great at finding things though. Oh there if you can help, I'll be able to leave. They're often hidden in trees or boxes. Hit or interact with those and you'll get them. Come on. Burps. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Okay. Coconuts. Oh, great. I'm on a timer. Coconut. Coconut. Wait. What are you? Hello. Okay, coconut. They're in drawers okay great great okay great okay I'm already on the case of a uh, of the uh, let's let's do everything right and win so that is what I'm doing I don't seem to have a arch nemesis here so and it's the nice glorious morning in what well, morning 1 p.m god i slept from like 12 
to 1 p.m. God damn, Beaver. You you <laughs> need sleep, I guess. Okay. Weird. Honestly. Did I not get that? Did I not get that? Did it glitch out and not give me? Check the menu later to see it. Oh, I got a secret. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize. Where's... Okay, I guess we're... Okay. I only have 11. I feel like one of them glitched. If it did, I'm gonna be kind of pissed. Okay, no, no, no. There's just none here. Hi, beaver. Otter. Um... Can I go downhill? No? Um... Olivia... Oh, do I hit the tree? No? No? Okay, I guess I have to hit trees. Guess... No, I don't know if I am supposed to. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Oh, God. I have to get so many coconuts from these. Are you kidding? Okay. I am curious of what would happen if I just, you know fell but you know what I'm I'm not on that path right now there we are okay we are on our way on our way on our way underlay underlay I don't know if I did that right so I'm sorry I am American trying to pronounce words do 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 coconuts totally not getting brain damage from the coconuts bang them all head you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're the rock. We're the rock and beaver. We are the rock beaver. Beaver the rock. Bucky the rock. Bucky the rock beaver. The rock is my middle name. I am strong. Oh yeah. I have all these. Oi! <laughs> okay. And hello. Ooh, I'm leaning into my screen. I just realized. Please nothing pop out and scare me. Why not? Please. Ooh. Also, stay tuned if you watch Terrorizer or Marcel face a glad to work. I have exciting announcements. So if you are, you're welcome to stay till the end and I will tell you a secret surprise, I guess, or spoiler. Not like Brian hasn't said anything. I'm spoiled. Ooh. Nothing there. Okay, five more. Come on, give me a coconut. Give me the coconut. Thank you. Lane trauma. It would be nice if you helped. Olivia. Did I get you? Okay, guess not. I need three more. Give me coconut. I need coconut water. The water of the god. Yep. Do, 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 do. Did you? Okay, okay. <laughs> you didn't really glow. There we go. We need two more. Do, do, do. Oh my goodness. I just need two more. I hope that doesn't mean that one glitched and I am just actually screwed. But okay. Hello, hello. Give me coconut. There we are. One more, one more. It's gotta be over here. We have some other areas here. I've got time. Yeah, Olivia, I got your otters. Collect all the coconuts for Olivia Otter. Eight A C H four seven four two. You free to live your otter. Okay. Yippee. Yay. Where's my end screen? Six PM. Perfect. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll meet you at the shore. You truly are a hero. I'm a hero? I'm a... You got all of our friends. Hiya, wolf. You want to tell me something? Now let's get back to the boat. We can keep searching as well. Huh? Whatever you want. Oh? Hello? Hello? Oh. Well... Leave the island. Leave now, miss on extras. Nice having you here. 
Keep exploring. Continue to wander the island. Watch the time, though. Did it save? Before I did, Olivia Otter. <laughs> I kind of want to leave. Leave now. Miss on extras. It's like telling me, don't. You'll be in a pussy if you do that. I'm like, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I am, though. Keep exploring. Continue to wander the island. Watch the time, though. There's a lot of locked areas. <sighs> Matt Pat. Okay. The theory awaits. The lore awaits. We are lore. Alrighty. Let's go. Great, great. Where's the wolf that I was going to talk to? Okay, never mind. Hello, wolf. You want to... Yeah, can I save? Just don't stay too long. Maybe we can go back to the town hall. Your call, though. Why are you... Hello. Nice of you to just crash in like that. Oh, you already did that. Okay, town hall. It's check. He said check, so... Oh, it's open now. Hello? Stumbler O'Hare. Hiya, friend. It's been a while since I've seen anyone. I used to be living in town. Yeah, you're my friend as well. You missing a hand? Thought I was disarmed. Haha. <laughs> Lately, though, I've been falling for a rabbit. You are a rabbit. But I can't just talk to her. I want to draw her instead. Can you come in and help me draw? Just keep my paint topped off and my canvas upright. Thank you. I didn't know we we're doing mini games. Oh no. <laughs> okay, buddy. You go gather some paint. Then I'll get right to drawing. Okay. Why do I? Why do I not like this though? Oh, I don't want to know what would happen if I don't get it. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, bunny. Oh, bunny. Oh, no. You can get very lost. Hi, uh, can I give you it? No. Oh. Oh my goodness, don't fall, please. We've been over this. Beaver. Yeah, woo! Woo! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Grab it. Grab it. Okay. Right. What the fuck? What the fuck? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Did I die? What happened? Hello? Oh no. Aw, oh, hey, it's not your fault. What do you mean? Did I fall and it tripped over? No need to sulk. We can always try again. Art takes time, after all. I don't want to. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Oh, the lore, but you know what? I'm scared of you. Let me just explore a bit. It's 9 p.m. Let's see. What? I'm sorry, what? Hi? Beaver? It looks like a rabbit, and then that's me? Um, hi buddy. I'm just waiting for the next show. There's one about a beaver I like. You know, you look a lot like him. You're lucky. Was this on and I just didn't realize it? Okay, new. Okay. Hmm. I feel like they won't give me anything. I forgot where else there's like a locked, blocked off area. I'm pretty sure if I do the bunny rabbit, that's not a wrong. Um, if I help the bunny rabbit, I'm going to get that other thing. Because at the beginning, it was the beaver and otter, I think, for, like, players. And then it had the two rabbits. Oh. 
Mystery. Hiya, friend. It's been a while since I've seen any... Okay, here, same thing. Yes, 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 yes. I know I think I have like three tries till I get bad, so, um... Huh. I mean, unless it just restarts. Okay, so the biggest thing is getting the paint cans. Okay, buddy. You go gather some paint. Then we'll get right to drawing. Are you painting with your mouth? Wow. Okay, oh. There's a... There's a door. I didn't realize there was a door. Oh, there's an outside. How lovely. Please, nothing be here. Okay, good. Okay, good. There's nothing out here. Good. Good, 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 good. I have five jars already. That's good. Alright, and I know where the rest of them are. There's one here. You? You're doing this on purpose. You have to. I might stare at you. Oh, midnight, you son of a bitch. Way up day two. It's been a nice having you around. Let's get some. Oh, my, his, let's get some more friends tomorrow. Good night, buddy. I forgot that was his voice. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> hor hor hor. I am Freddy Fazbear. I am Bucky Beaver. I don't know if we know what that is up there to the left, though. I don't know if we ever figured that out. <laughs> it's a weird little monument up there. Whoa, was this? Could you always see out of here? Whoa, I didn't even know that. Cause I never been here this morning. Hi, you. Uh huh. You know it's me. Why is he repeating this? Why is he repeating it when? Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, buddy. You go gather some paint. Then we'll get right to drawing. I kind of want to stare at you. Oh, is that what? Hmm, maybe that's it. I have to give him ink. You little bruh. Oh my goodness, you knock it down yourself and I have to pick it back up for you? Oh my goodness. There, I got you your thing. I'm going to wait here because you're going to fool around and accidentally tip it. I know you are. Yeah, see? There you are. You little... Oh, you little baby! You little... Mm, this one's hard. Oh, you're annoying. Yes, I know it's not. You, it's all your fault. I need to solve, can always try again. Art takes time, uh-huh. Let's get it. Remember, keep grabbing jars of ink. If I run out, listen for the canvas too. If it falls over, you gotta put it back up. Come on, bud. Okay, let's draw. All right, all right, come on. I think I got all the jars. Good, 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 good. You help Stumpler, Stumpler paint, okay. Great, finally. That was a headache and a half. It's wonderful, ha, thank you buddy, Bucky. I'm gonna hang this up on, in the theater. Wanna come see? Sure. Sure. Okay, so now I go to the theater. That place is still locked. It's 9 p.m., so I have one more to do, and then it's midnight, so... I don't think it'll much will happen anyway, so let's go over... Oh, boy! Theater, theater, theater. Hello. Man, you really made my day. Look at it. Isn't it a beauty? Yes, it is. When she sees this... She'll be falling into my arms. Or, uh, numbs. Anyways, thank 
Thank you. Seriously, bravo, Picasso. Oh, right. Can you check up on my other paintings too? What? Uh, I left some lying around at the town hall. Thanks. You... Uh, okay. Yay. What's over here? <laughs> Boom. Ugh. I knew it. But I don't want it though. <laughs> ah, my god. Oh, we've done nothing. I have to keep going. Ugh. You. You. Give me a sec, buddy. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, boy. You bully. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm gonna check something first. Return to menu. Alright. We are going to check secrets. Secrets. Okay. Secret, secret, secrets. We are checking our secrets while I take a bit of a break. Glorious crew photo, and we see our friend now, so I see him. Ah, here it is. Ripped arm. <laughs> Stumble conversation. Okay. Photograph SG nineteen ninety six. How glorious! Nineteen ninety six. Studio grounds. Studio grounds. So studio grounds is the studio 1996 uh that looks like the bunny rabbit then or it's a sloth not the walter concept art i just realized it might be like ooh scary or something um or hairy hairs horns maybe uh nothing else so it looks like i'm missing one two yeah three one two three one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so I have three things left or something on that side. Uh, this is a big one. It's probably from the other guy I'm going to get. It's weird that that other guy showed up. It looked like a, an, an older version of the walrus. I know this is baked off like a real game. So I don't know what that means. Still this video? Yeah. Okay, let me... Hmm. Let me... We're gonna take a bit of a break here because I am nauseous right now. And we'll see if we get back in the game. Alright, so... We're gonna do it, right? So Shipwreck 64. The whole hunt right now is finding the beaver character. <laughs> um, so Shipwreck 64 is a horror platform game by Squeaks to Gorg. I hope I... Gorgon. Um, first release for PC on July 16, 2024, 22, which is interesting because it's 2024 and it's now getting, when did they release? Wait a minute. When did they release here? Ah, uh, I know it came out recently. Then the new Shipwreck 64, obviously it's came out recently because people are getting into it now. Um, but it's, 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 uh, it's not meant for PC. Uh, it was originally an incredibly rare Nintendo 64 game that soft launched in 1997. And Olivia Otter had the 1996, so one year before this. Uh, developed by Cogwar Games as part of a partnership with Broadside Animation Studio. It is. Um. After obtaining one of the only remaining copies of the Via on seller, online seller named Daniel, a known team known as Shipwreck Recovery Crew, SWRC, created a custom emulator in order to experience the game in its true state to uncover dark secrets lurking within the code. Uh, the original game, known as Shipwreck 64 Legacy Edition, is currently available for download here. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, cause when so when I was doing the thumbnail, it was showing like a this character and a totally different like thing, and I was like, oh, and I saw these characters. I'm like, oh, you creepy bitch. Um, okay, so shipwrecked. 
This was the first one either in 2022 or it's the other one. Bucky and his gang are in danger and they need your help. With this brand new 3D performer, Bucky and his friends are going to be taken on a wild ride through an island they had crashed upon. Help out your pals and get the ship back up and running so you can go home once again. Uh -huh, please use the controller. Keyboard works. You know what? I I, I realize that now. Um, this is a horror game. It contains potentially shocking content, loud noises, and jump scares. 16 plus only. Uh, it's 18 to be approved to get in here. This is a trailer for the first one. It is very 480 80 quality. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we are. Look at the jumping mechanic. Oh, you can go off the island? There's a eyeball. Exit. Treasure. Huh? Here's a phone. Hello? Who's this? Hey, this is Mark. Oh, hello. What's going on? Well, today's the day, buddy. Yeah, you got the demo ready? Oh my god, the fuck. Hold on, hold on. We're going back a bit. Freaking uh, red screen blasted. God damn. Okay. Okay, we're going back, 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 back. No, just complete utter. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is copyright. Hi, I know you. We are copyrighted. Ah, da, 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 it is copyrighted. Ah, da, 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 this is definitely copyrighted. What is that? Oh, I do know that because it was in the theater uh, August, August 15th, August 15th. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry for that. <laughs> that was rough. It was, uh, I love the song, but I know it's definitely copyrighted. Um, okay. Well, interesting enough, it, it showed the, the little three, uh, metaverse thing. So that was interesting, right? It even had the little metaverse guy in there. Um, really interesting. I did not know you could, uh, you can jump off the island. So I wonder, right? It also doesn't have our... Who does it? It doesn't have our walrus guy in here. Walrus ain't in this. Why? This game contains some serving artifacts and glitches. It is not for the faint of heart. I know that. It also doesn't go for the faint of motion sickness. Yeah, because that's the that's the the logo that I did for the uh, the thing, not the actual shipwreck that they have on Steam. Um, I have that logo. Oh, this is interesting. So the game had a very mysterious nature surrounding its launch, as it was the only available from. Oh my goodness, it was only available for four days. August 13th, 1997 to August 17th, 1997. Receiving a little promotion from Cogware and nothing from Broadside. This downloadable version of the game is the closest one can get to playing the original copy of the game. EB Cogware here. I wanted to share something important with some of you guys. I don't know if my team has fully approved this decision, but I want to express my gratitude to you guys. I can't promise this page will stay up for long. We'll see how it goes. In the next page, I've attached a special little gift for you guys and showcase from, of my appreciation for your support on our mission to release this game to public. You may release this game to public. You may need to activate hardware acceleration in your browser if you have any issues, and you will need to be on PC for this to work. The following is an old debug zone from an earlier point in development, specifically 1996. We used this sh to show Broadside Team, which was the animation, what we had been working on at this point. It took a few days and restored it myself. Hope you guys like it. Ewee Cogware. Laws to move. I'm. It says CogwareGames.com leak homepage HTML. Let me first go here, because I am confused. I like, sometimes they're really good. 
copyright 1999 Cogwar Games. Wait. I'm so confused. <laughs> if this was an actual game company or not, I'm actually, like, weirded out. But is it? Is it real? <laughs> Partnered with Broadside Animation Studio. Uh-huh. It says copyright 1990. Okay. Uh, Cogwar Games. Cool logo. It definitely looks like a full page. Contact at CogwarGames.com. Did you know the game engine? Oh my goodness. Look at that old... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I open this and new Look how old Unreal is. Oh my goodness. I've never seen that before. If that's real, that is cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Did you know the game engine used to create our games is called Unreal Engine. It is the same program used to create the shooter game by the same Unreal. It was licensed by us by Epic Games, but it's soon to be released in public. I'm I'm crazy. I'm more interested in this. It's helping me definitely with emotion sickness, but oh my goodness. We are Cogware. Cogware Games was originally an idea that three friends out of Silicon Valley had one night. Okay, typical Silicon Valley thoughts. Same thing. If you don't know, Silicon Valley is in California. It's also, I believe, where Apple started. I could be wrong on that, but it is probably one of the hugest areas like for technology development uh have one night founded by connor thomas elizabeth baker and harry waters we are collective fans of the new and thriving world of gaming and we put innovation at the forefront with the first ever game blunder cover being a hit with crowds over at local conventions in 1995 and a thriving partnership with broadside animation company leading to the creation of the magnificent He's saying mag magnificent, okay, <laughs> oops, uh, magnificent shipwrecked. We won't hold back on getting our hands dirty in with game development. It's saying the creation of the magnificent shipwrecked. They did say Cogware Games promoted it a little bit, but it's weird that he's they're saying magnificent shipwrecked, but then it wasn't available after. I mean, it doesn't say it here, but interesting. Uh, after all, that's where the name comes from. Cog and a machine has to work together to create a movable zone. That's a good name. <laughs> we are here at Cogware, uh, are in it for the players and for moving forward. We doubled very heavily into three dimensional graphics, working on top of the industry professional to create worlds with depth, color, and life. You did, you did, you very creepy. Uh, we are here at Cogware, in it for the play. Okay, we did that. Uh, while we make games that are bright and friendly, you're not getting a squeaky clean experience if you play a game from Cogware. Instances of adult humor and some edge to our games are all present. We believe that games should not be designated to a single demographic, but rather shared among many demographics. We don't make kids games, but we also don't make adult games either. Think of us as a fine line in the middle. And then shipwrecked. Oh, this game would not be possible without the wonderful partnership between us, Cogware, and Broadside Animation. We helped funded, well funded the development of this game as well as providing reference photos and even making a full commercial for a game. They did? Oh, is it this thing? Ah, oh, that's what they did. I mean, that squeaks one year ago. One year ago. One year ago, new credits. I created a multiplayer of Garden Bambin in a week. Two years ago, Broadside Breach. Huh. Shipwreck to new begins or begins. Twisted lullaby. My my. FNAF stuff. Merry Christmas. One year ago. Radier spy. Lost FNAF. Shipwrecked. OST. Ten months ago. Is this game really that old? One year? Anniversary? I'm so confused. I thought this game was like mark the date one month ago. Cold case. Let's go all the way back. Quack Camel Crossing. Man, three years ago. This guy has some good stuff. This is 
good analog horror stuff. He's got this in the bag. Oh my goodness. Mark's lost VHS tapes, lost VHS tapes, lost VHS tapes. I kind of want to just go in here and just... Oh my goodness. We need to just go through this. It also looks like it gives... Broadside Beach. Is Broadside Beach another? Is two years ago. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. So, the Shipwreck 64 game, like the stylized one, is a full release released by the guy, so it's still by him, and Cogwar Games. It released on January 1st, 2024, surprising fans with a full experience of the beloved game based on a around a recovered copy of a lost game created in the late 1990s. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this game did come out. Okay, I wasn't losing my mind. It did come out on January 1st, 2024. And it's by the same guy. Squeaks de Corgate. I hope Squeaks de Corgate is how you pronounce it. It's an amazing name. Um, and Cogwar Games. So they are still there. Who's... Okay, and Cogwar Games. So he doesn't seem like they're in Cogwar Games. Let me look these guys up. Connor Thomas. Okay, so Connor Thomas is a very common name. <laughs> so well, unfortunately, those aren't that. Um, excuse me. <laughs> what do you mean a cat that's blinking at me? I don't like how that's a spoiler, and I'm kind of great, 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 great. Okay. <laughs> okay, Connor Thomas is the founder of Cogwar Games. Their teams attracted Mark Mullins to strike a deal with this series. Brought to animation characters. History, Red Day and the Two have a name. Okay, founded Cogwar Games. Uh, their first game being Blender Cover. Okay, so first one's Blender Cover. Broadside film. I oh my goodness, I need to He's deceased? Is it a after development of the game, Shipwreck 64 had been cancelled. Connor Gather runs the company's secrets to be placed inside the game and died by suicide via jumping. It was nineteen ninety seven. So the same year that they released the game. He died. Okay. Um Okay, 1990, uh, the Mark founded the game. The game caused Connor to have been contacted by... Okay, so Blender Cover was made. Done. Connor was then contacted by Mark Mullins of Broadside Animation. Uh, commissioned him to create a licensed video game based on the Broadside character. So this game, the whole thing is based on Broadside's characters. Because Broadside Animation. Okay, Broadside Animation. Let's look you guys up. I don't know. I don't think this is an actual thing because they would be popping up unless they're disbanded and it's a fake company. Then it would make sense. So Broadside Animations is the perfect storm. I want a... The problem with going to fandom is that is it real? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. References are all Dropbox, YouTube, Web Archive from the- <laughs> I don't think this is real. If it is, then it's sad. But if- I'm like- I'm so confused if this is a real thing or not. Because it's interesting, right? It's the part where there's an actual thing here. Like this, do that. Okay. So... I don't think it's real. <laughs> okay, so that kind of helps settle things. So, CogwarGames.com, like the actual site that I went on that looks like it's old and it was actually from the company, uh, is not really that old. It was updated. Oh, it was updated. Damn. Okay. Um, Domain updated on that. Well, 
here's the thing. That's that, but the age of it is only nine months and 15 days. So even if, right, domain created on 2023. So, okay, so thankfully, I don't think this is real. This is all make-believe. This is all fake characters. I hope so, <laughs> at least because it's really sad <laughs> what happened to this guy <laughs> i got very very quiet huh <laughs> um about that because then that's kind of like sick if it, it was and then they're just like ah hi character fine it's a Freddy's. but just like william afton it's a fictional character <laughs> so okay so that kind of it's cool nonetheless this is cool how they got that was cool um love the whole they really didn't deep this is definitely an arg an arg is you have a website called cogwaregames.com which is kind of crazy because that means there's someone who doesn't have cogware games as an actual business name which is insane it makes sense <laughs> when he was described it makes sense of a cog and a and a wheel right um but yeah no that makes sense that makes sense okay a uh, blunder cover has been mentioned a lot so let me check what blender cover is. Not makeup. I don't want makeup. <laughs> uh, game. Oh. Um. Okay, it's by him. It doesn't look like it's available anywhere. So let's go back to squeaks. There it is. Yeah, went a year ago. Okay, so this says, this is from Squeaks. Uh, Blender Cover 64. So Trash Tunnel Secret. It's crazy that, oh my goodness. They, I don't know if it's a he or it's they. Um, that they're doing it um, like it's an actual game that you can find, but no one else has done this before. So let's see what this is. Oh, it's a blue character. Yeah, that's a shooter game that they were so proud of. It's, what character is this? It's a cat character? Interesting. I'm just gonna <laughs> Okay, uh, door with an eyeball. It's got the same effects as like opening doors and stuff as the other ones. Yeah, this looks like um, his the character, right? Looks like uh, our buddy here. I'm gonna be honest. It looks pretty much like our little cat beaver guy. So at least we know now though that like the blue character skin is definitely like the old or maybe represent people interesting this looks weird huh trash tunnel secret is what it says you're not showing me anything i'm more oh cogware games okay it just pops up it just pops up you can't see it it just pops up it's like a huge sensor bar. <laughs> Is that a nosebleed? Like the little character there? It just pops up. It keeps popping up, huh? The door's already open? What? Happy birthday, Gavin. It's just, it's, stop it. We are doing this frame by frame. We are going. Please, I want the flame. Hey, gosh, hey, Columba. Oh my goodness. I think it's just happy birthday, Gavin. I'm trying to figure out what that is, though. And then it's just, boom. Is it going to pop down? No. Interesting. Okay. So where, okay, so we were doing this, the whole Blender cover. So Blender cover 64, Squeaks has on his thing. So it actually shows it there. Um, so happy birthday, Gavin. Gavin. 
Who's Gavin? You're Connor Thomas. I'm Gavin. Have we heard of a Gavin before? Do we know who Gavin is? Because there's Matt, there's Pat and Hilda. Uh, this was Blundercover, which was their first game. Demo of the game Blundercover being a hit with the crowds at the local convention in 1995. Then they got the Rodside Animation Company partnership, creating Shipwrecked, and then it stopped because of Apparently, one of the guys uh, jumped. Um, hmm. Gavin, is there a character there named Gavin? No, it's Giovanni Goose. I didn't know if the goose was Gavin Goose. <laughs> and then you have Mark Morris, which is the broad with the, the broad side. So it looks like this whole thing is based off of, on my understanding, uh, it's based off Cogware Games as a brand new, like it looks like indie, like few people, small team coming into the waves and being a hit with Blunder Cover as just a demo. Uh, animation company comes in, says, hey, we wanna partner with you. And they create Shipwrecked, which was a great game. They were like, oh, super excited about it. But then, according to Connor Thomas, right? After development of the game, Shipwreck 64 had been canceled. Okay, so it looks like when they were doing the whole thing right, and they were developing Shipwrecked, it looks like something went wrong, and they stopped development. For some reason, they stopped development on Shipwrecked, which isn't figured out right now. We don't know why it stopped. Connor put all the secrets in the game Shipwrecked before release, cause they said canceled, but it still technically got released for like five days or four days and then got off the market. So either Broadside Animation Company realized the guy put secrets in before they released it. So by that point, if they had stopped and then they put a bunch of secrets and then it, maybe he, Connor, pressed the okay and sent it out and then Animation Studio realized and they quickly took it off. What was the other names of his coworkers? Because that's just Connor Thomas, um, Elizabeth Baker. Um, okay, Cogwar Games, company founded by Connor Thomas. So it was mainly founded by Connor Thomas. Okay, uh, primarily focused. Their most popular game was Shipwrecked, brought to animation light since Nintendo 16. Development went rough, especially with Mark Mullins reacting negatively towards the final. So Mark Mullins, which is the guy who is the CEO of Brideside Animation Company, uh, was not happy with the ending product. Um, so that is something we know. Uh, release date, Decogware. I just realized because they have Liz. Is it Liz B? Like Liz B dot, like Elizabeth Baker, Liz. Aha, so Elizabeth Baker was one of the first, uh, one of the people who worked in, but I don't know what Harry Waters is then. Maybe that's the other blue character. Um, but that makes sense then. Um, it's also weird that Connor Thomas is the only one who has a page and Harry Waters and Elizabeth Baker doesn't have anyone. A little shady on that. Um, but Mark Mullins. So, okay. So that makes sense of why there's Liz B on the wall because that was one of the people who created it. Uh, I'm just going to close out of that just in case of spoilers. I mean, we're already spoiling. We're, we're, we're here in the lore. We're here in the lore. It's an ARG. You're supposed to go and look and research and do stuff. You're not supposed to technically really wander around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna eventually get through the game, but because it gives me just motion sickness in general, we're being wise with it with my time. So it's not meaningless to you guys, and we actually have some brain juices being like, oh my goodness, this is so interesting. So that's why. Uh, Mark Mullins was hired at Broadside Animation in the past, either as a higher up or he climbed it on the second part. So hired well Rex Broadside. Okay, so Rex Broadside was here. 1968, so it was way early. Uh, Broadside Beach was completed and due to company appreciation day of my suggestion. <laughs> Incidents around Broadside Beach continue regardless. Well, Broadside Beach is the beach that we're in, like where you are crashed on. And also just an email open. Hi everyone, my name is Mark uh, Mullins. And appreciate day we thought. 
Looks like something happened at Broadside Beach. Um, despite those incidents around, Broadside Beach continued regardless, resulting in the deaths of several employees. Deaths. Okay. Uh, the company cleaning mark decided to let Broadside Beach sunset and work on a theme park in Florida. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why is there a theme park? Yeah, it's Studio Crowns. That explains the mascot. So, mascot, Studio Grounds. Hi. Oh my gosh, it's a theme. It's Disney World. Oh no. <laughs> Bro, how... I, I mean, Disney World. I don't know if Disney World was that popular back then, but I knew it was popular. I mean, it had its foot in the ground. Um, my goodness, that's just Matterhorn. That's just a random. <laughs> that's just a random hotel that's pixelated. That's just California Adventures. <laughs> okay, it's kind of funny. Hmm. Interesting. So, interesting, interesting. So, studio grounds were literally studio grounds. That's why you have a beaver that kind of looks like a mascot like Sonic. Because it's supposed to be. Doesn't talk anything looks like. I won't read too much into it. We'll get deeper into this eventually. Uh, maybe we'll even do our theory. We'll, we don't know. Um, onward is unknown, so we don't know where he is. He's just that guy. Um... Interesting, so, I'm having my theory senses tingling. <laughs> a lot of this, knowing the history of FNAF, and I'm, I'm sorry to say, but I'm also proud to say that I know my FNAF lore. I am Matt Pat, you will be forever with me, <laughs> forevermore, because I've grown up with those Mad Pet theories, as you can see. So we are deeping into the, we're diving in. And he did a video on this, so we may even watch it. So honestly, maybe we try something different instead of just gaming, 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 because I get motion sickness and I don't want you guys to just sit around and, you know, what's gonna happen? I don't know. Uh, so maybe we just review footage and I have a PNG tour here up or something. Uh, maybe that'll work. Maybe that's something we do. Maybe we do a live stream of this or something. We shall see. Uh, if you guys would like this, we'll see. Uh, do, do, do. And then Broadside Animation Studios, the perfect storm of lovable characters, hot stories, breathtaking graphical capabilities. Okay. I'm a little sad, actually, that this isn't a real, <laughs> real thing. I was, like, getting, like, really, really into it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is someone. And then the suicide happened. I'm like, wait a minute. I actually have to figure it out. Okay, but this is where this whole thing came in to be. Boss to move, space to jump, shift to run, E to interact, Q to exit interaction. So, was to move, shift to run. Let me just do this up again. Um, I'm a little scared. <laughs> it's loading. This is a game. Debug room. Something. Oh, it's downloading. Okay, there it is. Sneaky. <laughs> it wasn't even going to show you how much. It was just, you just had to be patient. Oh, my computer wrapped up. Hello. Oh. Hello? Okay, we're going full screen for this. Hi. Oh my god, there was some random little thing. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness, yeah, the controls because I'm on a mouse. Oh my goodness. Oh, the controls. I want to look up so much higher, but it's not going to let me. Debug zone. Hello. Bucky Beaver, it says, NPC with ID and mouth animation. It's weird that I can do this. Olive, 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 Arter, not Olivia. Hi, this is Olive. My character ID is one. Liz, replace these scripts. So that's Liz. It says chess with coconut. Right, I get that. God, I, I wish I never. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's the beaver. Okay, so this is Cogwar Games. Lots of stuff here. Coconut, gotcha. 
What's this say? It says chest empty. Okay, gotcha. So these are just things in there. The wolves, I gotcha. Wolf, hi, I am wolf variant two. My character ID is nine. I'm the optimistic NPC. When writing lines, make them positive. Hi, I am wolf variant one. My character ID is 10. I am the rude NPC. When writing lines, make them negative. That checks out so far. Hated that one. It says the nav map. Waterway demo, cave demo, view map. Yeah, it's, it's weird that they have a shrine there. That's the thing. The label says Olivia call. Wav. Olivia call. That's kind of weird. Um, cause that's just the thing that plays in the beginning, like a music. Olivia call. Okay. Oh my goodness. We got a code. It says code is one two three five. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, is it gonna one two three four? Oh no. Ah. One two three four. Do do do. That means there's. Huh. It says door travel. It says door static. So you can't. Oh. I gotcha. Oh my goodness, it teleported. I get it now. Okay. Interesting. This is cool. <laughs> it says height tracing and climb. It says step up. It says jump. Okay, so jump. It says jump again. It says climb. So, okay. It says you did it. <laughs> Thanks. It's gonna have me teleport. Yeah. Debug zone. So these are just mainly controls. Um, menu. It's gonna take me to the menu. Wait, the menu is the front screen. Oh my goodness, I can move the head. Let's stay here. Because last time I did that, it, I don't know for how long, but it was, actually I can check right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll just check on my phone how long I stayed here because then we can check to see how long that took till that thing came up. Three minutes for it to uh, work. It's 1 minute 37 and the music has stopped. All right, it's officially been about like three minutes, 30 seconds. Nothing's really happened. I think it doesn't happen here. Interesting. Oh my God, that scared me. I just, <laughs> I'm clicking and it does that. Oh my goodness, I can walk around. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Wee. Can I click anything? Click. I can jump. Whoa. You can hear music. Hang a wall, hang a wall, hang a wall. You can't hear anything now. There was someone there. Well, there was definitely a character there, like a wolf or something. I think it's from the door. Let's go in the door. Okay, it just takes us back. 
Why just... Let's go in there again and then just hop out immediately. I wonder if the, the thing's there. Yeah, you. You were just there, and then you eventually just go away. You look like a wolf. Oh, you know what? You're the mayor. Why are you there? And then you eventually just move away, and you walk away. Yeah, see? Okay, interesting. I think he cycles back out. Interesting. I don't know if that was... Because that makes sense why there is... The mayor wolf wasn't there. Okay, cave demo. Yeah, this bitch. Um... I got the chest in here, but I probably won't take the manipulator to see it. Kid says that. I don't think there's anything gonna be in it. Hmm. It's got the little roof up there. Looks like there's nothing up there. Anything out here this time? Can we actually see out? Oh, wait, actually, it might just, yeah, it just, it just let me back here. Okay, waterway. Oh, memories from this one. Hmm. Hmm. It's all clear. Huh. I wonder if you can actually I I doubt it. I don't know if I want to try to get up there. I don't know if that's worth it. Can I die? Oh no, I can't. I'm not gonna get up there then, because it probably won't uh do it. It says 1996 on the, the little tab there. Alright, so that's it. <laughs> Climb up here, hey. <laughs> Interesting. Any clues? Any glitches? I am the beaver. I am. Hello. I am in. I am looking inside, seeing if you have any, uh, any little insides or anything. No. Okay. Interesting. Well, that was interesting nonetheless. Also, there's a code somewhere that I need to do. Let me just go back and just say leak. No. Um, let me just go back. A secret? Oh, that's what that says. That was weird. It says literally a secret. It says a secret. Yeah, up here. 1996 debug zone, it says secret question mark. EB, who is EB? Elizabeth Baker. There is something about this girl. There is something about her, more so than Connor Thomas. Connor Thomas may be the founder of Cogware Games, but Elizabeth Baker is someone who's like an underdog in this statement. I don't know who Harry Waters is. I am sorry. But Elizabeth Baker has been showing up so much. Like, she was the backbone of this whole game. Like, a secret 
by her like she made this hello friends e elizabeth baker here i wanted to share something with you guys to you guys i don't know if my team has fully approved this decision so she doesn't know if like connor or harry approves of this or the animation studio fully approved this is but i want to express my gratitude to you guys i can't promise this page will stay up for too long we'll see how it goes in the next page i've attached a special little gift for you guys as a showcase of my appreciation for your support on our mission to release this game to public you may need to activate hardware acceleration in your browser if you have any issues and you will need a pc for the work an old debug zone from an earlier point in development specifically 1996. we use this to show a broadside team what we've been working on this point i took a few days and restored it myself hope you guys like it okay interesting like she is i think she might be the one giving the hints or something shipwrecked okay so if you also just have squeaks to crawl um de corga uh indie so even his page in general is this page um hmm interesting oh there is difference there is a difference there's something here so okay so leading to like starting from here leading to the creation of the magnificent shipwrecked oh is it gonna tie nope still kept the magnificent <laughs> um we won't hold back okay wait this one is cogware so we won't hold back on getting our hands dirty with game development. We won't hold our back. After all, that's where the name comes from. That's where the name comes from. Okay, it's just different. So, the Cogware game site has shipwrecked and blender cover full caps. This one just just doesn't have it like that. Uh, for this, the game used this. Is there anything different? Uh, looks like they just switched from side to, uh... This looks like the more official thing. It looks like Squeaks just did it, but the email is totally different. Let's just look down here. Oh, that is a key difference. Look, so... After a sudden crash during a root fishing trip, Bucky ends up on a mysterious islands where his friends appear to apprehend by a pack to be apprehended by a pack of wolves for disturbing the peace whereas in squeaks it is after okay wait is that the same story yeah it is. uh where his friends appear to be apprehended by a pack of wolves for disturbing the case the case versus the peace that is a very different that is very different. Oh, there's also something here. So we don't, so, okay, for this one, Cogware Games. We don't make kids games, but we don't make adult games either. We don't make kids games. We don't make, is there any difference with that? <gasps> I see it, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is good oh my god we believe that so this is Cogware games website we believe that games should not be designated to a single demographic but rather shared by among many demographics whereas squeaks changed it to we believe that games should not be designated to a single demographic but rather shared among many demon graphics bruh <laughs> so key words here that's a key word. I want to double check this. It looks like shipwrecked. It's just different. Like this one's capitalized. This one's not. I don't know why. Okay. And then, well, <laughs> let me just go boom, 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 boom. That'd be cool if one of the pictures were just like, you know, <laughs> just there's a wolf. Yeah, the wolf is kind of weird. Okay, let me go back. The squeak seems to have secrets on this one. It is interesting. This is why I love the website. Okay. Let me try doing this. Okay, nothing there. Let me try that. 
nothing there. Okay, let me just go strictly that. Game Jolt goes back to Jane Gold. So, okay, so this must be all of his games. I'm not going to be very active on this account going forward. My work will primarily reside on itch, okay? I'll uh, keep this up and I'll still be coaching. Okay, so this is all of his games. My god. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is. So, there's the debug zone. I wonder. So, there's Game Jolt. There it is. What do you mean 7720? Oh, you are just giving me. Oh my goodness. I, ah, uh, no. Damn. <laughs> oh my goodness. This just keeps going and going. Okay, so 7720. We'll do that first. It looks like the guy's back. And it's the white wolf. So, okay, so maybe. Right. This is his. Seven, seven, two. Okay, it doesn't give me seven, seven, two, zero. Uh, and then it lands on six. So maybe that then. No? No. But this is the one that's... That one's obvious. That one's different because I know where that guy is. I've seen him. I know where it is. But... That guy's there too. Because that is still something that was weird to me. Yeah. Yeah. 2022. So definitely it was released. And then they just re-released it on uh, Steam it looks like. Uh, is a game that was being produced in honor of the wonderful Connor Thomas, uh, as it was the first game ever idea. As it was his first ever idea. See, you can't be saying that and making me really think it's a real person. If it is, then damn. Um, I'm hoping it's not a real person. Uh, you are Detective Howells, a rookie at the Sun City... Sun City? Um... That sounds... I'm in... I'm, I'm from Florida, so I feel like... Yeah, Sun City is an actual thing. It's Sun City Center, Florida. That is an actual police center. And they did say the game... The the studio grounds was in Florida. Ooh. Um, you were Detective Howells, a rookie at the Sun City Police Department. Uh, search the premises for a five exciting missions, interrogate the surrounding folk, and solve the mystery before the trail runs cold. On July 16th, 2022, we released re re uh, Super 64, an archived emulation of an older game under the same name that was stated to release in 1997, but was pulled due to savage imagery in the game itself, which was probably pulled from the um, by the animation company. Uh, recently, we received an email from someone we believe to be an ex cogware developer here to deliver us another game that is similar to the previous. I'm pretty sure that ex cogware developer is Elizabeth. Because Squeaks also has like a whole thing, um, like we just saw, that shows you the a secret, this whole page and this whole little demo going through. So they they have this. So I don't know if Squeaks is maybe taking on the persona as Elizabeth. Um, or because Elizabeth is the one who's giving Squeaks all the the content, you know? I think maybe that's what's happening. And then Squeaks is releasing it. <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, Alt. Yeah. You know what I want to do? I'm going to email both of them. <laughs> I'm going to email both of them. I sent both. All right. So with that being said, uh, if you guys, I'm, I have a question for you guys. If you guys are interested in this, if you've made it this far, if it's been entertaining and interesting enough that you've gotten this far, with all my mayhem and blunder, <laughs> letter uh, type of speech, um, do you? And besides the tech issues, okay, I understand and realize that now. <laughs> um, so I apologize for that. But hopefully, if you guys enjoyed, hopefully you did. If you made it this far, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, if you have any advice, 
go ahead and shoot my way in the comments, write it down. Um, I'll definitely continue with this, the thing because um, we do, we're obviously getting some stuff. At least we have some context though going into it. So I'm not completely lost. I'm not completely terrified of every move I make in this game. I realize now it's kind of a save and progress and you have a week or something till the volcano explodes and you all die. So I think that's the main difference. Um, I was just mainly worried about leaving with on the ship and just there's something happening. I kind of wish I did that because it doesn't look like I can just go on the ship now, which is kind of sad. I wish I could, so I could just do that, but there's not multiple saves or anything like that. So I'll just have to keep going. Oh, well, um, but that, you know what? That got us to this point right here. Of lore. So if you guys enjoyed the, like me diving deep and kind of going behind the scenes, I can do this stuff for an hour apparently. Um, more so than I thought, whereas going into video games and diving deep into that is kind of hard <laughs> for me and it takes a lot longer. Um, but in any case, I'll keep going with the story now that we have some backbone and I understand what the, like, the blue shaded characters are kind of representing with like the past game blunder cover and like employees maybe. Um, now I understand Lisa. That was probably much the biggest thing here with like Lisa and Elizabeth being like really a like an underdog in this whole thing I've seen. Um, gives us context. I feel a lot more confident going into the game now if I were to. So if you guys are totally up for me, just going, like pausing uh, whenever I get queasy and I can just go and keep going with this and just kind of doing my little investigation work, my theorizing, my lore, I could do that. <laughs> um, so we'll keep going in there. If you want me to review ARG stuff and ARG stuff in, t in general, I love ARGs. They are cool. They are so interesting and I love it. So people are creative. This Squeaks is crazy. I mean, for what, like three years? Stuff from FNAF, stuff from like, like Candyland uh, type of stuff, like all the way back. Made the games, made little edits. This is underrated developer in general. So love that. I love that they're getting so much more from the uh, like, you know, the uh, Steam going there, moving that. So if you're a creator, Game Joel, I'm sorry, but I guess you're old news now. And Steam's the the lovely person to help uh, market everything. So I'm happy the game's finally getting traction. If it released really in 2022 and you finally did it in 2024, I'm so happy you made that decision because it is just launched itself. And congrats on getting MatPat um, to do it because that was awesome. Um, so I'll go maybe watch that. If you guys want to see me review or react to any of that, uh, some stuff from Squeaks, I am totally up for that, for going in, diving into trailers, seeing the footage, because, gonna be honest, it will probably take me a lot longer and a lot more to get all these little teasers, whereas I could just go here and find it. So, if anyone knows that for sure, if I'll still be missing out and I should find an ending, if there's an ending, then I'll do that. Um, I'll still progress with the game, but if I get queasy at some point, we'll kind of take a break, figure out, brainstorm, recap of what we've done, and we'll go over here, I guess. So, we'll play it by year. This is a different type of game <laughs> in general and video, <laughs> but if you guys liked it and enjoyed it, then great, we'll keep going with this. Um, and we'll see if I add in PNG doers or stuff, so. We'll get creative with it. We'll have some fun. So if you guys have any ideas for any of that, go ahead and put in the comments, uh, please, again. No spoilers! We are no spoiling of this. We're just tiny tips, tiny helpful tips. If anyone has questions, help them a bit, but don't give spoilers. Um, and yeah, then just let me know if you enjoyed any of it. Again, I'm sorry with the whole tech issue, but if you did and you want to see what else is going on, uh, go ahead, subscribe. You're coming back anyway. I hope when I say subscribe, it glitters if you haven't <laughs> the little subscribe button uh glitters it does fireworks i didn't realize it till i tested and i saw it happen that was cool so if it does why don't you just click it might as well you support a small artist gamer in the community and you're coming back anyway and are interested in what else happens um but yeah all right so you know what we'll just do this <laughs> we'll just have it, him up right here um but yeah so you know what, we're, we're muting you right now, Brian. Um, this guy right here, I'll be doing emotes very soon. 30 of them. <laughs> so if that's the final number, just know that 
it's a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be something. But you know what? We're getting that bag. We're working our way. He got the meal? Oh, I was doing ARG stuff and he got the meal. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a clip. I'll probably see a clip or something. But in any case, this guy right here, all this stuff, uh, the extra channels where he's streams sometimes um or now majority of the time but i'll be doing um a bunch of what is it uh emotes and stuff um also the little logos there uh for the memberships the little sub badges i'll be redoing those too and they'll be coming definitely sooner than the other ones so but yeah it will be fun it'll be exciting so if you haven't subscribe to this man he's great he's warm <laughs> warm uh he's welcoming uh he's a bundle of joy and he's like real with you he's no fake you know if he's fake it's for it's obvious and it's just for the views man gotta make that bank you gotta make it a living so this and terrorizer just regular terrorizer go ahead and subscribe to him i'll put their links in the description below since i've talked about them basically and terrorizers Ew. um but yeah so while he's on the screen, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, just let me know if you want to s s me to talk more about this or react to, you know, squeaks, uh, stuff. And okay, just go back. ARG. I'd love to. I love doing that stuff. So if you want to, let me know in the description below. But with all this rambling, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it a lot. And with that, have a great extra night or day. Goodbye.